Hey everybody, Scott Spratzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. Free pick coming up in just a moment. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, great time to do it with all these day, night, morning, evening, whatever tournaments that are going to be going on. You can get a free $60 account uh, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. And all you got to do is click on the link below the video to get started. Free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on my picks uh, and again those daily picks and uh, again it's a great way to give DocSports.com a trial run all right we've got a free pick in college basketball for Tuesday coming up on this report we are coming to you a little bit early on Monday did a lot of radio on Monday and so I get home to the home office and I'm all revved up ready to go so we've handicapped uh, the games that are uh, that have lines on them so far and what we'll do is on Tuesday morning uh, probably about 7 a.m. Pacific 10 a.m. Eastern, uh, we'll get back at it and look at some of these games that will have lines in the morning of the matchups that are yet to be set. They'll be set on Monday night. And so we know we'll have at least one college basketball play for Tuesday. You know how we, well we've done with those elite level plays heading into Monday night. Uh, but we've got at least one play for Tuesday in college baskets. And then if I add any more from the matchups that are still waiting to be set, uh, then of course those will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday. Tuesday at DocSports.com. I'll be in NBA action on Tuesday. We've already given one run through on the card for Tuesday in the NBA, and uh, that'll be available 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. What I wanted to do before I get to the free pick for Tuesday, I wanted to talk about the ACC because I've had a few people asking me this on Twitter with DMs, what I thought about the ACC tournament, the chances for, for Virginia, who started to turn things around a little bit as far as wins and losses are concerned, uh, if they've got a real shot to win the ACC. And I can tell you this much, if you look at their odds and their chances and their percentage chances to win the ACC, you know, they're not up there right now with Duke, Louisville, Florida State, for instance, you know, Duke's got the best chance. I mean, one particular site gives them about a 45% chance of winning the tournament. The interesting thing has been every time I've turned on the radio on Monday or turned on the TV with folks talking about the ACC tournament, I haven't heard one person say, take the Duke Blue Devils. I know they're, they're chalk. I know they're the favorites. There's no big bang for your buck if they win the ACC tournament. We're still talking about a top 10 college basketball team in power ratings. Now, Duke and Louisville are obviously uh, at the top as far as the favorites, the percentages to win the ACC, followed by Florida State, real close to Louisville, by the way. Uh, Virginia, by one particular ranking site, has been given about a 7% chance of winning the ACC tournament. Here's the thing about Virginia. Am I going to be shocked if they win the ACC postseason tournament? No, I won't be shocked. But listen, this is a completely different offensive team from a season ago. They still play a deliberate style or brand of offensive basketball. Uh, they're not going to play breakneck style, but they lost three players uh, that are you know, playing for pay at this point from last year's team. And after being top five in adjusted offensive efficiency last year, they're 234th in the same category headed into the ACC tourney this season. It's not the same team offensively. They'll still be deliberate. They'll still play great defensive basketball. But I went back to January 15th, and if you toss out a game against Boston College, there are other 13 games since Jan 15 were decided by a grand total of 46 points less than four points per game. They'll keep lesser teams in games with their slow tempo and their poor shooting. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, last season, Virginia, has, as I mentioned, had that second best offensive adjusted efficiency. Not this year. So listen, again, am I shocked if a team like Virginia wins the ACC? No. Do I think it's going to happen? I really don't. Uh, Duke is the lead dog, so to speak, and they are the chalk in this tournament. And again, I've heard nobody talking about Duke because of a couple of their performances of late stumbling a little bit, including that loss to Wake Forest blowing the big lead, but that's the way I'd have to go. So anyway, uh, if you DM me on Twitter, I will answer some of these questions and when we get a chance to get to them, we'll talk about them in these videos. As far as my free pick for Tuesday's card, I am going to back uh, Fairfield over Manhattan. And Fairfield won the first two games. These games being played in Atlantic City, by the way. Uh, Fairfield won both regular season games this year over Manhattan.
Manhattan, yet the Jaspers are a one and a half to two point favorite in this game. And I'll tell you what, Fairfield doesn't rely on the three pointer. They only took eight three pointers in one of the two games that they beat Manhattan. Uh, they shut them down big time in both games. They gave up 60 points in one, 50 points in the other. They had a tremendous two point shooting night in one of the games. They won 66. To 50 and listen sometimes teams are just better against the other when it comes to head-to-head -to -head matchups and I think that's the case here so we're gonna recommend to play on Fairfield uh, they're getting a point and a half as we speak over Manhattan that is our free pick for Tuesday and don't forget we'll be right back here I'm gonna have a play or a, a video late Tuesday night for Wednesday's card we're not gonna wait until 5 a.m. Eastern 2 a.m. Pacific I want to get these out there so you got a chance if they are day games that we're using for free picks so again the free pick a recommend on Fairfield on Tuesday. I'll be right back here no later than 11 p.m. Pacific time Tuesday night for Wednesday's card. And we'll update what happened on Monday with our results. We'll talk to you then. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe.